So each one of these settings, you can change the numbers in if you wish. So you've got complete control over that. This pull back again, you can change the numbers in this as you wish. And also this uh, percentage in here, you can change the number of this. So if I put in here 50%, you'll see that that goes to $10. And if I put in 100%, it goes to the $20. You can change this from an average to an independent if you wish. Um, you can't delete a lot that's already been bought okay so this obviously is being bought this lot here as you can see so all these lots here this is the last one that was bought but you'll see the delete button is available for you to delete off of these ones that haven't been bought yet now regarding this keep profits let me explain to you what that is so as the price drops your bot will buy into the market so you can see here that i put my settings to minus four minus two minus twelve minus nineteen minus 16 and then got down to here so let's say that the price dropped all the way down to here so you it's dropped to you know a good 30 percent or 40 percent so far and then the bot starts to make a profit down at these lower levels and the price never ever gets back to you know this price up here it's you know because this is cake and it's 450 right now cake is around about this sort of price here two dollars well let's say that the bot starts to make a profit and what it does, if you look here, it says keep profits. Now, 50% of it, it will show you that you've made a profit. So let's say you make a dollar. It will show you've only made 50 cents. The other 50 cents, it starts to bring down the money that was spent on these lots above. So in simple terms, if you made a dollar and it kept 50% um, back, that means you would get 50 cents shown in your front end. So, you know, in the front dashboard there to say that you've made 50 cents, but and the other 50 cents would bring this down to that you haven't spent $10, you spent $9.50. And so that's bringing down the dollar cost average for the lots above. Now it could keep on making a profit, buying and selling this lot six here, making a profit, and slowly it's gonna get to the stage where it can sell more than one lot in a go. So it releases these funds, it will make you a profit, because it's bringing down the dollar cost average of what's been spent so far on the trading lots. So for example, if you come onto the magnifying glass and you look at the trade history, what we're looking at is this lots here, this lot here. These are all the lots. So this is showing you that it did uh, some sales and made a profit. And if I go down, what we're looking for is two numbers. So as you can see here, the bot actually sold two lots, five and six, and made $1.67. So what would have happened there for it to sell the two lots? Either the price went up very quickly and it managed to sell those two lots or it was bringing down the dollar cost average of lot five because it was making more of a profit on lot six. And you can see it's done it again here for seven and eight. And you can see here that this bot has sold three lots, made $2.44, it sold lot zero, lot one and lot two. So this uh, keep profits, you can change. So what number you put in there, that's the amount of the profit that you will keep and it won't bring down the dollar cost average. So if I put in 100% in there, then it's and it's uh, trading down on these lower ones and I've got 100% in, then that's not doing me any favors because it's not going to start to bring down the dollar cost average for these trades above. You can click on this plus sign and add new lots on the bottom if you want to. So if you've got a bot that stops and you want to just add another $20 or $10 or whatever it is, and you can delete these off that you can on the right-hand side there. Whenever you make any changes, you must make sure that you save. Now, I want to look at this section here. So this bot's already running. Now you've got uh, infinite trading, which obviously it will keep on trading. You've got this single run. Now, obviously the single run, if it's already bought lots outstanding, then you can't choose it to single run if you want the bot to stop running and not buying anymore then you choose this stop buying and sell lots with a profit or break even it will look for an early exit point obviously the price would have to go up it's not going to be using that dollar cost averaging because you're stopping it buying down on those lower lots and then this one at the bottom you can stop the bot and it will sell everything and it will sell it at the market price right now. So if you choose that one, be careful because the bot will stop immediately and you could lose money, couldn't you? Because it would sell at the market price and not be selling at a profit.
So all the settings inside your bot, you can edit them as you wish. Once the bot's running, you'll see that these numbers up here are grayed out because you've already started the bot. It's already made a trade, so you can't change those. You can, however, change the take profits and the, the retracement here, uh, the take profits there. You see I've got two different types of take profits and uh, two different types of retracement. Coming up to the top, if you've got a bot that you've already created and you want to create a new one and maybe change a higher amount that you're trading with because it's been a successful bot, you can just duplicate that bot. It will duplicate the bot. Then you'll need to go in and just change the settings that you want. You know, so if you wanted to, if I wanted to duplicate this bot because I wanted to trade with more than $20, I'll duplicate the bot. And then on the bot that I've just duplicated, I just go in and change the amount that I want to trade with you know maybe a hundred dollars or whatever if you come into your bot and all the settings can't be changed you'll get this warning to tell you that the bot's already up and running it's bought some lots and you can't change those settings for ones that it's already bought so this over here is the archive button you can only archive bots that don't have any open lots so if you've got a bot that's got open lots, meaning like I've got down here, it's bought this lot zero, one, two, three, and so on. I can't archive this bot because it's still in progress. You can only archive bots that are actually finished trading. And coming back to the dashboard here, you can either view your bots in tiled or in list form. You've also got this filter here that you can type in. So if I wanted to put check my Bitcoin bots today, I can just type in their BTC. If I want to check the cake ones, I put the cake one in there so I can search that. On this side, we've got the, the Dex Trends. These are the pancake swap bots that have been running. And it will tell you how many bots there are for a particular bot. So this is the, the good game guide which is the ggg so there's 21 bots set up for this and so far this bot's made 1189.94 percent for those 21 bots and as you can see here you can check uh, the blockchain for for this particular bot you can also go and check the chart so if you want to create one of these bots yourself you'll be able to check the chart and uh, if you want to create this bot, so let's say you wanted to create this GGG bot, you can just click on the plus sign here. If you don't want to create any of the bots that are in this list here, and you want to create a, a new bot, you can click on this plus sign up here. Here, this tab is your active bots, which we've just been on. This one is your archive bots. So when your bots are finished trading, then and you close them, you cross them out, they'll go into the archives. You've got limit orders. I'm going to do a separate video on the limit orders. So that's your trading bot settings. If you've got any questions, make sure you ask those questions in our Telegram group. So hopefully you found this video helpful and happy trading.